Is as much as they let me get away with, I will do. So, uh, yeah, bring it on. Okay, so loved you on One Tree Hill, loved you on Hellcats. You are now back on the CW. Yeah, what it is about the CW that keeps you coming back? I mean, they just tell, tell good stories, right? I mean, and it's a great family. Like, everyone at the CW is the nicest. I don't know. It's like there's good synergy there. But, they, I mean, they just keep sending me these cool scripts. and. Like it. That's a good stuff. Uh, that's good. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't messed up yet. I don't know. So you were very kick-ass in this show. Was that part of the reason you wanted to be a part of it? Uh, you know what? It was actually uh, the writing. The writing of this episode. So leave it up to a playwright. Kyle Jarrow uh, wrote this incredible pilot and this material that is um, so intricate and has so much going on. This is a very uh, human uh, character and and she has flaws and coping mechanisms and she's dealing with a lot and I think that um, she's a fighter which is very pleasant to play as a woman uh, but I think that her dealing with these things that we don't necessarily see all the time in the media is what really appealed to me at least uh, being able to tackle these very difficult um, relationships really because uh, that's what the show is ultimately about and um, that was, it was a done deal as soon as I got to read the script. I, I felt her, I saw her, and she was um, empowered in, in this weird, twisted, you know, damaged way in a weird, uh, in the pilot. So she, she was great, and I think it was a very timely thing to have a woman like that on the media. This show seems like so much fun, like a dream for anybody. I feel like you're playing like an action hero, essentially. What was it like taking on this role? It was. I really was living a dream. I mean, I wanted to be Tom Cruise and Top Gun growing up, you know, so. Um, yeah, I mean, the action, but there's, there's like really grounded writing, and as an actor, you know, to connect with the actors and find those moments that feel real is amidst this, you know, action movie. It's pretty cool. What do fans expect from this show in season one? Well, there's a huge kind of action rescue mission that we're planning, and that's, that's going to be fun to sort of see that unfold, and then this conspiracy, which is a thriller aspect of the show, which is a puzzle that even I'm trying to put together now because I don't even know how it ends. You don't know the ending yet. Right. So as I read scripts, I'm sort of trying to figure it out myself. Does that make it more fun, though, when you're playing along? Yeah. yeah, I think because I experience it like the audience does, and that's how I am a storyteller, I guess. Uh, you know what? What can I tease? Uh, there's a lot of the relationships uh, kind of take interesting little turns and twists, and uh, that is pretty much at the forefront. I'm a sucker for that stuff, so that's where I live. Um, and I think that that's something that's going to be very exciting. And it's all in this little beautiful little wrapper of story and action and plot, and it never slows down. So I think that that's what's very exciting. The action looks really cool. So did you have to do any cool training, or what kind of stunts did you get to do? As much as they let me, I mean, you can't see it because my makeup artist is brilliant, but I'm covered in bruises uh, because as much as they let me get away with, I will do. So, uh, yeah, bring it on. I like badges, those kind of things. Exactly, yeah, battle wounds. And have you got, gotten to go up in the helicopters at all? Yes, um, I have, and I think that, that is one of the things that watching these pilots, because obviously I'm not allowed to pilot it up yet um, one hopefully day. one day uh, but one of the things watching these pilots and watching kind of the precision that they work with and again the hands and the feet are working separately and that is it's just unbelievable to watch so getting to play that is very exciting I've tried I've like tried too many times but uh, yeah. I keep getting told that this is a really hard thing to do and they're 30 million dollars and you can't break it so you at least gotten to go up with one yeah, I went up with one. So I got to feel the... I got to fly. And what's yeah. this training schedule been like for you? I imagine it must be kind of intense. Yeah, yeah. Fitting it in. A lot of... He you know, there's... It's such a complex machine, so we're always in the helo learning new buttons and new things and working out together to stay fit. Can you give any hints about what we can expect? Well, <laughs> there's there's a big conspiracy that uh, that sort of unfolds, and uh, Captain Gallo and uh, Norma Donnie, the characters that Christina and Matt play, are going to be digging into that conspiracy together and trying to figure out this mission that they were on, where they got shot down, what was really happening on that mission. So that's a big part of the first season. Yeah. Um, so we can definitely promise you some really exciting answers we on that. We definitely lay out a little piece of that every single week, what is going on in in terms of what they're digging into. So is this a show where we're going to be watching along, coming up with our own theories, trying to figure hopefully out? Hopefully that, yeah, that is hopefully. our hope. We want people by the end of this first run to be like, who is blank? What's happening? So 
tomorrow. We're hoping yeah. that's what's we're hoping that's me sold because I love shows where I'm trying to figure it out and then when I get yeah. it wrong at the end of the That's what oh, we're trying to well, do. We're trying it. to, you know, seed things in early enough so that you will feel satisfied as a viewer in episode 10. Oh, they mentioned that in episode two. So we're, we're hoping that. It seems like there's kind of a trend of military shows coming out this fall. What makes Valor different, do you think? Um, well, we, you know, we really explore the the world of aviation, you know, the, the helicopters and the fact that we have the first female pilot, you know, in the show, that's the dynamic of, you know, this male, female um, pilots and sort of the friction or, you know, you know, uh, intimacy that's created there is is interesting, Cre creates for good drama. Why would you tell people to tune into Valor? Um, honestly, because it is as high production value and as high action and story and the stakes are really high and this is something that only a very small elite group of individuals is really living every single one of those stories is relatable everyone has a coping mechanism everybody has um you know a job where they confuse feelings and they don't understand what's going on are they in love are they just you know kind of connecting on a camaraderie level or, or um you know everybody can relate to every emotion i think even though the situations are just um something that none of us really get to see and you know so it's that's that's kind of like why I would tell people to tune in when I joined this unit I knew I would have to work twice as hard to prove myself you did everything you could you followed procedure and I'm good okay you're grounded Madani sir you have to let me fly this mission you will have to prove you're up to it uh 